the uh, raffle. So yeah, all you have to do is donate $1,000 or more, and by the end of the broadcast, you have uh, about a little bit less than three hours, your name will be automatically entered in for a chance to own this piece of history, this one-in-a-lifetime opportunity to have this head you got to see it in, in person. What's that, that finish it's got? It's it looks got, like a snake kind of skin. It's a, a desert tan snake skin. It's also signed by you, buddy. Yeah, me too as well. Folks want that. I tell you, I've got one of these rifles. Well, it's, it's not as fancy as this, but it's the same build. In the most awesome 223 ever. So lightweight, so accurate. It's sick. And to think I bought rifles that cost almost twice as much that aren't as good, that does make me sick. And, of course, you pretty much got that rifle tattooed on your arm, too, don't you, Joe? Yeah, that's what I had in Afghanistan. What was the name of this baby in Afghanistan? That was an M4 with a two or three grenade launcher. No, I know, but I'm sure it had a name. Oh, uh... Sexy? Accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so you never named your rifles? No. Nah. All right, Joe, you're awesome. Thank you, buddy. <clears throat> There's Joe Biggs, so that's what we're doing. Now, I'm going to skip this network break because it's special 28-hour broadcast so that I can get to a bunch of these clips without too much commentary. You'll hear the commentary of my reporters. This is from our feed covering it last night. And if you wanted to tune into a debate without our interruptions, you can. We do it at Mystery Science Theater to praise it when our folks think it's praiseworthy, but to also shout it down when it's a bunch of garbage and counter it in real time. And here is the clip I already played. A bunch of clips we haven't played are coming up uh, of uh, Senator Cruz saying Planned Parenthood is a criminal enterprise. Uh, then we're going to go through... Uh, the other clips. But here's Senator Ted Cruz saying Planned Parenthood's a criminal enterprise. Well, let me tell you, Dan, number one, I'm proud to stand for life. These Planned Parenthood videos are horrifying. I would encourage every American to watch these videos. See senior Planned Parenthood officials callously, heartlessly bartering and selling the body parts of human beings. And then ask yourself, are these my values? These are horrifying. On these videos, Planned Parenthood also essentially confesses to multiple felonies. It is a felony with 10 years jail term to sell the body parts of unborn children for profit. That's what these videos show Planned Parenthood doing. Absolutely. We shouldn't be sending $500 million of taxpayer money to funding an ongoing criminal enterprise. And I'll tell you the fact that Republican leadership in both houses has begun th this discussion by preemptively surrendering to Barack Obama and saying, we'll give in because Obama threatens a veto. You know, Obama's committed to his principles, his liberal principles, he will fight for them. He says, you, I Senator. will veto any budget that doesn't fund Planned Parenthood and Republicans surrender. We need to stop surrendering and start standing Thank for you. our principles. Amen to that. Now, that, that was exciting, but it didn't get our reporters chomping at the bit. This clip uh, got them basically start to start celebrating uh, because it's a big deal in a debate like this with 35 million viewers to talk about vaccines, we were seeing the saving of untold children to break this membrane of propaganda, this confidence game that vaccines aren't killing and brain damaging our children in mass. And then Carson, the brain surgeon, sits there and says, you know, we are giving the kids too many vaccines, but it's not causing any problems, no autism. Read the insert, folks. That's a load of bull. Let's go ahead and go to this epic clip. Hello. Hey, let's go to what they're saying right now because Donald Trump is making an epic statement about the connection of autism and vaccines. And I've seen it and I had my children taking care of over a long period of time, over a two or three year period of time, same exact amount. But you take this little beautiful baby and you pump. I mean, it looks just like it's meant for a horse, not for a child. And we've had so many instances, people that work for me just the other day, two years old, two and a half years old, a child, a beautiful child, went to have the vaccine and came back and a week later got a tremendous fever, got very, very sick. This now is great. He's, he's doing a great job. I only say thank you, Donald. it's not, I'm in favor of vaccines. I gotta say thank over you a for longer this. period of time, yep. same amount. Excellent. Thank you. Just in in little and that's sections. what I said Dr. earlier. Carter, I agree on that. I think Excellent. You're going to have, Excellent. I think you're going to see a big impact on autism. Doctor Carter, yeah. you're going to hear Ben Carson jump in. Nailed it. Pro Good vaccine. job. He didn't backtrack. I like that. That's right. He's an okay doctor. <laughs> oh sure. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Trust me because I'm. A yeah. Back it up ten seconds. Back to Carson saying, "Oh, he's a good doctor." as if we can't make our health decisions, as if we can't read the inserts, as if we can't see autism going from one in 30,000 to one in 58 CDC zone numbers. They say by 2025, it'll be one in three. 
one in 10 in 2025, 2030, one in three. Oh, he's a good doctor. We should just do what Big Pharma says with the hundreds of vaccines they want to make mandatory. It used to be six or seven they push, then it was 14, 25, 35. It's 49 vaccines they're trying to make mandatory right now. And the new list they've got is over 100. And they get up there and lie and say it's the law when it isn't. And doctors sit there and nurses pressure people. And then when you say no, they go, I actually don't give my kids vaccines either. And then it turns out the elite are getting, quote, clean vaccines. That's London Guardian from special labs. See, they act like we don't know about the technology of, of learned immunity, of artificial immunity. Even good vaccines have side effects. But the crap they're shoveling at us and at the level they know in studies it's brain damaging guinea pigs, mice, rats, and monkeys. They're doing it on purpose. They know you give 14, 15 shots to a newborn baby in the first day. That baby's brain is going to be screwed up for life. And then the second round, the second round at, what, eight, nine months, and then... Nine months later, the third round, 18 months after birth, they're given the coup de grace. They're given the creme de la creme, the final blow. And we've had the nurses, registered nurses, head nurses on. And when they're on, for two, three hours, we take calls with the nurses going, yeah, I'm in the ER ward or I'm in the preemie ward and we'll have an eight-month-old baby doing great. And he'll, baby will be in there two, three days. And they'll come in and they'll say, time to give the shots. And we'll say, but it brain damages them. And they say, you're fired if you don't do it. So we get the respirators, the defibrillators ready. We give them the shots and we watch them start dying. And a lot of times we can't save them. Oh, but Donald's not a doctor, is he? And of course, Donald does the politically correct thing that Japan done. Because the Japanese were revolting 20 years ago. They only do five or six vaccines and they space them out. You can't space out 49 or 100, Donald. And they're dirty because they have liability protection, Donald. Imagine if Ford or Chevy was had liability protection. Their cars would be blowing up every day, but they don't have liability. I don't have liability protection. I got to watch what I say. They got to get out of jail free card. They're crapping all over us, and we're sick of it. That's why it's being forced as a debate issue. Let's go ahead and finish the clip. Excuse me. Oh, no, it's Dr. Carson, yeah. you're going to hear Ben Carson jump in. Nailed it. Pro Good job. Vaccine. He didn't backtrack. I like that. That's right. He's an okay doctor. Uh, smart ass. <laughs> I didn't like Carson. Oh, yeah. Trust can't me because it. I'm a doctor. Come on. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. I can read the stuff myself, Dr. Ben Carson. Right. Read the Constitution, jerk, if you're going to run for president. <laughs> There's no autism associated with vaccinations. But it is nose grew about a foot right there. Documented proof by our paid off yeah. scientists. Paid off a lot of by Big Pharma. Now recognize that, and I think are cutting down on the number and the proximity in which those are done. And, and that's, I think all that's, that's, saying, that's all I'm saying, Jake. That's all I'm saying. Well, Paul, now they're like saying autism is caused by. Hey, let's understand. They went after the other. Yeah, yeah, let's understand. We have good. such a thing called informed. Notice, though, we've gone from them saying a few years ago, no side effects, period, save and effect if it's all a conspiracy theory, to having to admit there's serious problems. You see that? That's how you win, folks, and we are winning thanks to you spreading the word and thanks to InfoWars being the tip of the spear. Back during the H1N1 situation six years ago, I got called and threatened by Big Pharma with lawsuits. I had to get lawyers. I said, go ahead and sue me. I then had the enjoyment of being followed around by PIs for no reason, just to harass me. And then I got some really nasty threats and people trying to break my family up. And I've had them run industrial level operations against this, this organization for it. You think I care? You can, let me tell the New World Order something right now. I'm not afraid of you dying for a good cause. In fact, beam me up, Scotty. You think I'm going to back off because you've threatened me and my family? You think I'm going to back off because you follow me around? All you did was ensure that I know I'm right and I'm never stopping. You think I'm scared to die so that little kids don't get brain damaged by the millions and crap all over themselves until they die at 45? And so their parents go through living hell? You think I'm scared to die fighting for the innocents? <laughs> I'm no hero, but my very DNA is for standing up for children and innocents and women.
And so you just don't get it. See, that's because you're cowards. You've lived your lives as cowards. You've always backed down. You've always been scared by peer pressure alone. I never cared about peer pressure. I never cared about anything except just being a human being. And so to the vaccine makers and big pharma and all of you, I know you're the tip of the pyramid. I know you know what you're doing. Bayer Pharmaceutical shipping out the blood factor to kill all the kids. The hemophiliacs that came out in court, you knew. Dr. Sock laughing in his apprentice on tape about how they knew the SV40 was going to kill millions. But so what? There's too many people. Ha, ha, ha. See, their life matters. You try to baseball bat their head in, my gosh, you'll be a murderer terrorist on TV. But they laugh about your mama or your daddy dying of an excruciating cancer that didn't exist before the polio vaccine. And it's funny to them. My grandmother, 90 years old, had polio since 1954, gone through living hell, almost died. I don't think it's funny that she caught it a week after getting the vaccine and caught the very strain that she took. It's all funny to you what you've done to us and our families. You think it's all cute. I'll tell you something. All we're doing is taking our time educating everybody and getting ready. Because when we bring you to justice, there's going to be a worldwide Nuremberg, the likes of which the world's ever seen. And you're going to have a trial by jury. And all your crimes are going to be dredged up. And you're all going to be absolutely punished for what you've done. But I don't even take any pleasure in that. That's got to be done so justice is served and so other sick freaks like you that think you're better than us and that get off on brain damaging people and that get off on crippling people and that get off on hurting people and that get off on playing God can learn you're not God. So fill your hand anytime you want with me because I'm free. I'll never be dirtbags like you. I'll never be a coward. I'll never be a sack of filth like you. I will never worship your God, the devil. I will never serve your tyranny. I will never bow to you no matter what you do. Yeah, you could grab me and drug me up and roll me out a year later after electroshock, some fried husk, but my spirit would have already flown. You will never dominate me because I belong to God. And that's the decision the public has to make, which side they're on spiritually, and this new world order will start falling right as it's completed. Yes, you'll have your world government for one hour, but that's it. That's all you've got. And we're setting off the explosives in the info war right now that will topple you forever. You've already been defeated. You are the walking dead. We'll be back with your phone calls and more clips. Well, there's a story out of NBC. FAA says American Airlines flights grounded and stopped nationwide. Another glitch, just like we saw on 9-11. There were all these glitches that morning for American and United and the stand downs and all the rest of it. I'm not saying that's about to happen here. We saw massive insider trading on Wall Street, but no investigation of that, of course, because we can't find out what really happened. We just know there's a cover-up. The Saudis are involved, and we blame Saddam Hussein. And I was just out there during the break in the break room getting a glass of water, and I actually saw Senator Lindsey Graham on Wolf Blitzer talking about basically defending the Iraq war. I just can't handle it anymore. We've got a clip of that from the debates we're going to be playing in a moment. But I want to go to your phone calls, folks that have been holding first. Toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. We're going to go to Margaret Jameson, Eileen, Sue, Scott, and others here in just a moment. I love it when we get a whole bunch of women calling in. Usually it's five to one men, even though our demographic shows about 37% of our uh, listeners are women. So great to have Sue, Eileen, Marguerite, uh, and others. Uh, now, Jameson can be male or female. We have another lady on there as well. So it is a majority of women calling in. So that's always interesting. Uh, a lot of times I talk about vaccines. Women call in because they're so upset about watching the brain-damaged babies they just wish they could get the good vaccines and then weigh the benefit versus the problem. Because there's a bunch of vaccines I want to give my kids, <laughs> like tetanus shots. But it almost killed one of my uncles, almost killed one of my cousins. The UN got caught adding pathogens to it to sterilize women on record. I mean, it's a dangerous one to get because they know everybody gets it. So we're going to go to your calls here in a moment. Just very briefly, we are doing... A 28-hour transmission that ends at 3 o'clock Central 
uh, in about two and a half hours.